sus carros y jinetes entraron tras ellos en el mar. Hacia el amanecer, el Señor miró desde la columna de fuego y humo al ejército de los egipcios y sembró entre ellos el pánico. Trabó la rueda de sus carros, de suerte que no avanzaban sino pesadamente. Dijeron entonces los egipcios, huyamos de Israel, porque el Señor lucha en su favor contra Egipto. Entonces el Señor le dijo a Moisés, extiende tu mano sobre el mar para que vuelvan las aguas sobre los egipcios, sus carros y sus jinetes. Y extendió Moisés su mano sobre el mar y al amanecer las aguas volvieron a su sitio, de suerte que al huir los egipcios se encontraron con ellas y el Señor los derribó en medio del mar. Volvieron las aguas y cubrieron los carros, a los jinetes y a todo el ejército del faraón, que se había metido en el mar para perseguir a Israel. Ni uno solo se salvó. Pero los hijos de Israel caminaban por lo seco en medio del mar. Las aguas les hacían muralla a derecha e izquierda. Aquel día salvó el Señor a Israel de las manos de Egipto. Israel vio a los egipcios muertos en la orilla del mar. Israel vio la mano fuerte del Señor sobre los egipcios. Y el pueblo temió al Señor y creyó en el Señor y en Moisés, su siervo. Entonces Moisés y los hijos de Israel cantaron este cántico al Señor. Palabra de Dios. Te alabamos, Señor. Señor, que con el Evangelio nos has hecho comprender el sentido profundo del Antiguo Testamento. 
dejándonos ver en el paso del Mar Rojo una imagen del bautismo y en el pueblo librado de la esclavitud un símbolo del pueblo cristiano. Haz que todos los hombres, mediante la fe, participen del privilegio del pueblo elegido y sean regenerados por la acción santificadora de tu Espíritu. Por Jesucristo nuestro Señor. Amén. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, when the house of Israel lived in their land, they defiled it by their conduct and deeds. Therefore, I poured out my fury upon them because of the blood that they poured out on the ground and because they defiled it with idols. I scattered them among the nations, dispersing them over foreign lands. According to their conduct and deeds. I judged them. But when they came among the nations, wherever they came, they served to profane my holy name because it was said of them. These are the people of the Lord, yet they had to leave their land. So I have relented because of my holy name, which the house of Israel profaned among the nations where they came. Therefore, say to the house of Israel, thus says the Lord God, <clears throat> Not for your sakes do I act, house of Israel, but for the sake of my holy name, which you profaned among the nations to which you came. I will prove the holiness of my great name, profaned among the nations, in whose midst you have profaned it. Thus the nation shall know that I am the Lord, says the Lord God, when in their sight I prove my holiness through you. For I will take you away from among the nations. Gather you from all the foreign lands. And bring you back to your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you to cleanse you from all your impurities and from all your idols, I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you, taking from your bodies your stony hearts and giving you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you and make you live by my statutes careful to observe my decrees. You shall live in the land I gave your fathers. You, you shall, shall be my people, and I will be your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
O God of unchanging power and eternal light, look with favor on the wondrous mystery of the whole church and serenely accomplish the work of human salvation, which you planned from all eternity. May the whole world know and see that what was cast down is raised up, what had become old is, not, is made new, and all things are restored to integrity through Christ, just as by him they came into being. He lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Together let us stand and join in the hymn of praise to God, singing glory to God in the highest. most sacred night radiant with the glory of the Lord's resurrection. Stir up in your church a spirit of adoption so that renewed in body and mind we may render you our undivided service. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Romanos. Hermanos, todos los que hemos sido incorporados a Cristo Jesús por medio del bautismo, hemos sido incorporados a Él en su mente. En efecto, por el bautismo fuimos sepultados con Él en su muerte, para que, así como Cristo resucitó de entre los muertos por la gloria del Padre, así también nosotros llevemos una vida nueva. 
porque si hemos estado íntimamente unidos a Él por una muerte semejante a la suya, también lo estaremos en su resurrección. Sabemos que nuestro hombre viejo fue crucificado con Cristo para que el cuerpo del pecado quedara destruido, a fin de que ya no sirvamos al pecado, pues el que ha muerto queda libre del pecado. Por lo tanto, si hemos muerto con Cristo, estamos seguros de que también viviremos con Él, pues sabemos que Cristo, una vez resucitado de entre los muertos, ya no nunca morirá. La muerte ya no tiene dominio sobre Él, porque al morir, murió al pecado de una vez para siempre, y al resucitar, vive ahora para Dios. Lo mismo ustedes, considérense muertos al pecado y vivos para Dios en Cristo Jesús, Señor nuestro. Palabra de Dios. Te alabamos, Señor. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew glory to you o lord after the sabbath as the first day of the week was dawning mary magdalene and the other mary came to see the tomb and behold there was a great earthquake for an angel of the lord descended from heaven approached rolled back the stone and sat upon it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing was white as snow. The guards were shaken with fear of him and became like dead men. Then the angel said to the women in reply, do not be afraid. I know that you are seeking Jesus the crucified. He is not here for he has been raised just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, he has been raised from the dead, and he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him. Behold, I have told you. Then they went away quickly from the tomb, fearful yet overjoyed, and ran to announce this to his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them on their way and greeted them. They approached, embraced his feet, and did homage. Then Jesus said to them, do not be afraid. Go tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus 
Christ is risen. He is risen. Jesus Christ is risen. Jesus Christ is risen. Jesus Christ is risen. So there's this uh, teacher in a public school doing a social studies, and he's a very b believing Christian, and just hated to see Easter come without saying something about it. So he thought maybe a social uh, studies project. Uh, talk about current events and what's going on and the feast of Passover and then he asked him well can, does anybody know what Easter is about one little kid says yeah Easter is about the Easter Bunny and then another person said Easter is about coloring eggs okay he's looking uh, Easter is about getting new clothes and finally the boy says well Easter is all about Jesus the guy says okay good well, what about Jesus well he died on a cross okay what else about him and he rose from the dead uh-huh what else about him? And if he sees his shadow, it's going to be one more month of spring. <laughs> Literally, for some people, you know, <laughs> Jesus is like the Easter Bunny. It's just kind of a, a thing in the culture, but not that important. Not for Christians, though, Easter is the foundation of everything in the church, precisely because we celebrate Jesus as the risen Lord and his resurrection Everything is based on it. If Christ has not been raised from the dead, St. Paul says, our preaching is in vain and our faith is in vain. Uh, como ustedes saben, eh, la, un día para celebrar la resurrección no empezó hasta el segundo siglo. Uh, en el segundo siglo, ellos uh, apareció un día especial, un día anual para la celebración de Pascua. Pero originalmente, uh, la, cada domingo fue la celebración de la resurrección. Por esta razón celebramos no con los judíos en el sábado. El sábado fue el último día de la historia de creación que escuchamos cuando Dios descansó. Pero celebramos domingo cuando Dios empezó una nueva creación en Jesucristo. Because the new creation is so important in Christ, that's the we, reason we worship on Sunday. So very often it says in the... Uh, on the first day of the week, such and such a thing happened. On the first day of the week, Jesus met the disciples at Emmaus. On the first day of the week, Paul met with the early church and they broke bread. That first day of the week was the beginning of the new creation. That was celebrated every Sunday. It was not till the second century that we had an annual celebration of the Feast of Easter. Because every Sunday, and in fact still, is a commemoration of the Lord's resurrection. We celebrate the risen Christ as we share word and as we share Eucharist. Scriptures today speak to us about um, many things. Start unpacking. For, for seven weeks, we'll be unpacking the mystery of Easter. But we hear a couple things today. First of all, Easter is about faith. Pascua es una celebración de nuestra fe. Quizás una persona no cree en Dios ni en Jesucristo, pero cada persona cree en sufrimiento. Cada persona tiene la experiencia de sufrimiento y dolor en este mundo. Y lo interesante es precisamente en nuestros sufrimientos y en nuestro dolor, Dios se identificó con nosotros en la persona de Cristo. This Holy Week is celebrated how God so identified with us in suffering. That's the common human thing. If anything holds humans hold in common, it's the experience of suffering, and it's precisely there that God identifies with us through the person of Christ. And in his suffering, we celebrate that suffering and death was transformed into new life, not just for him, but for all of us. Compartiendo con nosotros nuestros sufrimientos humanos, Jesús nos transformó nuestra inmortalidad en inmortalidad en él, en su nueva recreación. We celebrate who we are as a people who have discovered the, the power of Christ and the, the presence of Christ. And, and that makes all the difference in the world. We see things differently. As we lit candles at the beginning, we see with the light of Christ, it's bigger than the darkness of the world. Uh, very often the scriptures will say, and it was dark, and it was dark. They went to the tomb. Uh, Todavía estaba oscuro. Todavía, pero está, el, el evangelio es, es, está hablando más que simplemente sobre la hora del día está hablando sobre la oscuridad de la vida humana sin Dios. Muy, muy, muy oscuro esta, esta mañana cuando las mujeres fueron al, 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 al sepulcro de Jesús. 
ellos fueron sin esperanza, ninguna esperanza de su vida. Ellos han, testigos de, han sido testigos de la muerte de su amigo y su señor. Y ahora, eh, sin esperanza, ellos van al, 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 al sepulcro cuando todavía está oscuro. We've all experienced darkness in our lives. Like the women who were so devastated by the death of Jesus, they go to the tomb. It was dark, not just in the day, but it was dark in their lives. Every person has had an experience of the darkness, and it's precisely that that helps us to see where Christ's light comes to us. Because we've all experienced darkness, or the darkness of our fears, the darkness of our guilt, the darkness of, of you know, family problems, the darkness of suffering, the darkness of sickness and death. Cada persona ha experimentado la oscuridad de la vida humana, nuestra mortalidad, nuestros pecados. Cada persona tiene la experiencia de la oscuridad y por esta razón la iglesia proclama que la luz de Cristo brilla más poderosamente que la tiene, la tinieblas por el poder de la tinieblas y la oscuridad de este mundo. The light of Christ is brighter than all of our darkness. Father Raymond Brown, who is a scripture scholar, passed away several years ago, used to say, uh, he says, until you meet Jesus, until you have faith in Jesus, you will always be in the dark. Faith, Easter is a celebration of, of our faith. Eh, segundo, eh, Pascua es sobre nuestra esperanza que tenemos en Jesús. En el año 1513, Ponce de León vino en, en busca de la ciudad El Dorado, pensando que una ciudad con, con mucho, mucho oro. Pero también cerca de esta ciudad de oro, El Dorado, uh, cerca de esta ciudad uh, se supone que era también la fuente de juventud. Él uh, quiso beber de este, esta fuente para, para tener juventud otra vez. Uh, pero cuando celebramos a Cristo, celebramos la las aguas vivas realmente vienen de él, no de un, una fuente en la Florida. Uh, la, las aguas vivas realmente, como escuchamos hace un, un mes en las lecturas con las, la mujer uh, de, de Samaria, las reales aguas vivas vienen de Jesucristo con el poder de su Espíritu. Uh, the real living water you're not going to find, the fountain of youth is not going to be found someplace in Florida. The real water that renews us and transforms us is the water that flows from Christ. What we celebrate today in the waters of baptism, that's where new birth comes about. That's where people begin to live anew. That's where their hope is restored. Not just a fountain of youth, but baptism is the fountain and the source of immortality. When the church began, they had very little ritual, but they had the powerful experience Jesus wasn't someone they remembered from the past, but someone that was with them constantly. And their experience of Jesus was what they shared and was a major dimension in terms of what they shared with the world. Christianity eventually conquers pagan Rome. But we didn't conquer paganism because we out-taught them or out-argued them, but because we simply out-experienced them. We brought them the experience of the Son of God risen from the dead. That changes people's lives. When people experience the person of Christ close to them, that gives them new hope. Uh, they're not just living by themselves. In nuestra experiencia de Jesucristo resucitado, tenemos este compañero de nuestras vidas que comparte con nosotros el don de esperanza. No estamos viviendo no simplemente con seres humanos, sino vivimos y morimos en la presencia del Señor resucitado. Uh, it's a powerful the experience of Christ together with when there's authentic witness from Christ's disciples, it's almost irresistible to draw other people to Christ. I mean, the m biggest evidence of the resurrection is not, a, is, is not an empty tomb, but a spirit-filled people. Uh, not a rolled-away stone, but a carried-away people who are so in love with Christ that everything they do demonstrates His presence. This Easter is all about the new hope that we have uh, in Jesus Christ. And thirdly, Easter is about our love. Pope Francis uh, has certainly been a very important person, kind of changing the style of the of the papacy, uh, simpler dresses, a similar way of dressing, simple, simpler liturgies, it's kind of very homey kind of an atmosphere, Tr loves to travel, be very friendly and, and warm with people. Uh, uh, he scandalized a lot of people. His first Holy Week 
uh, as Pope, uh, he would wash the feet on Thursday. He washed a woman's feet. No Pope had ever done that. Washed a woman, and she was a Muslim to boot. Kind of scandalizing deal. What, what kind of a Pope is this? Well, he's basically a Pope that tremendously believes in how the power of the love of God in Christ transforms us. And the gospel of joy. Time and time again, Jesus bears us on his shoulders. No one can strip us of the dignity bestowed upon us by this boundless and unfailing love. With a tenderness that never disappoints, but is always capable of restoring joy, Jesus makes it possible for us to lift up our heads and to start anew. Uh, let us not flee from the resurrection of Jesus. Let us never give up, come what may. May nothing inspire more than his life, which impels us onward. Jesus nos vuelve a cargar sobre sus hondos una y otra vez. Nadie podrá quitarnos la dignidad que nos otorga este amor infinito. Él nos permite levantar la cabeza y volver a empezar con una ternura que nunca nos desilusiona. Y que siempre puede devolvernos la alegría. No oyamos de la resurrección de Jesús. Nunca nos declaremos muertos. Pase lo que pase. Que nada puede más que su vida que nos lanza hacia adelante. This Easter story is, a, is just fantasy if it's not connected to who was raised, namely the one who was crucified and everything that his life represented. Uh, it was not the cowardice of Pilate that was resurrection. It was not the betrayal of Judas that was resurrected. It was Jesus with all of the goodness with which he lived his life, the kindness and the compassion that he showed to people. That's what God resurrected. That becomes our hope for resurrection as well. That the goodness that God raised up in Christ, the goodness that he empowers us to do, becomes the way that God's love is extended to others through who we are and how we live as faithful to the gospel. I was thinking the other night, uh, uh, last night, um, we had just finished the very nice liturgies, the in Spanish and English Good Friday commemoration, and Holy Thursday was so nice, and I was thinking, I could come back, it's kind of, kind of mellow, it's very encouraging and comforting. Then I made a mistake, I turned on television. <laughs> and the chaos of the world, the confusion in our own United States with politics, the terrorism in other places, and you go, why God? Of course, that's the reason we celebrate those liturgies, because the world is crazy. And we find a point of sanity and a dimension of hope in who we are as the people of God. But we celebrate our faith in the Lord, uh, more important than any other reality, more important than, than politics or, or business or, or, or anything else. We celebrate who we are in Christ. In the sacramento de bautismo y de la confirmación, celebremos la importancia de Cristo, la importancia de pertenecer a Cristo. Ahora y para siempre. In the sacraments, we watch people become baptized and confirmed. As all of us remember our baptisms and confirmations, how we are the baptized people. It's not simply, I was baptized once upon a time. But tonight we celebrate how we are the baptized people, loved by God, embraced by Christ, destined for eternal life. Uh, baptism is such an important reality for all of us, and especially for those getting baptized tonight. We're not only going to pray for them and for ourselves, but we even ask the saints in heaven to pray for us. And the traditional litany of the saints, we ask angels and saints to be with us in what we're doing. Please stand.
We give thanks to God for the gift of water, absolutely necessary for ordinary life, now a place of new birth for sons and daughters of God, new life for them. Let us pray. God, our Father, you give us grace through sacramental signs which tell us of the wonders of your unseen power. In baptism we use your gift of water, which you have made a rich symbol of the grace that you give to us in this sacrament. Blessed are you, O God. Together. Blessed are you, O God. At the very dawn of creation, your spirit breathed on the waters, making them the wellspring of all holiness. The waters of the great flood, you made a sign of the waters of baptism that make an end of sin and a new beginning of goodness. Through the waters of the Red Sea, you led Israel out of slavery, to be an image of God's holy people set free from sin by baptism. Blessed are you, O God. Blessed are you, O God. In the waters of the Jordan, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Spirit. Your son willed that water and blood should flow from his side as he hung upon the cross. After his resurrection, he told his disciples, go out and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Blessed are you, O God. Blessed are you. Father, look now with love upon your church and unseal for her the fountain of baptism. By the power of the Spirit, give to the water of this font the grace of your Son, so that in the sacrament of baptism all those whom you have created in your own image may be cleansed from sin and rise to a new birth of innocence by water and the Holy Spirit. We ask you, Father, to send the Holy Spirit upon the waters of this pond so that those who are born here may have the grace of baptism. May all who are buried with Christ in the death of baptism rise also to a newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Let me put a candle back for the time being. Okay. Does that come out? Does the liners come out? Do the liners come out? Maybe not. Yeah. Ask those who are being baptized to stand together with their sponsors, godparents. The baptismal promises for them is later for all of us have two parts, what we reject and turn away from, and also the ones in whom we believe. The response very simply is, I do. Do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? Do you reject the glamour of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin? Do you reject Satan, who is the father of sin and the prince of darkness? I do. Please be seated. The first two rows can come with me.
And the response continues to be, I do. Do you believe in God the Father, the Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth? Right. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, who was born of the Virgin Mary, who suffered, died, and, and rose again, who is now seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. bautizo en nombre del Padre y del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo Amén Amén Yo te bautizo en nombre del Padre y del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Amén. You have put on Christ. Bautizo en nombre del Padre y del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Amén. You have put on Richard, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Baptize you in the name of the Father, of heaven and, earth. and of the Son, Christ, his only Son our Lord, who was born of the and of the Holy Mary, Spirit. Who suffered, died, and rose, and Amen. The right hand of the you have put on Christ. Alexander, yo te bautizo en nombre del Padre y del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Amén. You have to please turn off your flash so that it doesn't interfere with the photography. Please turn off your flash. Holy Spirit. Amen. You have put on Christ.
Nicholas, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You have put on Christ. Lionel, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. You have I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You have put on Christ. Hallelujah. Baptized in Christ. Hallelujah. Nathan, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You have put on Christ, hallelujah, baptized in Christ, We witness their baptisms. Uh, we renew our own baptismal promises. We'll uh, light the candles we lit at the very beginning, again, sharing in the light of Christ. And uh, our servers and ministers will help relight the candles. You will have to bend yours. Do you need a candle, Father? It's okay. Father Paul doesn't have a candle. If anyone has an extra, <laughs> our pastor doesn't have a candle. <laughs> there you go. You are to bend yours. Okay, you're finished. Oh, I'm sorry. You can pass it on.
as we heard the, uh, those preparing for baptism right before they were baptized, they make their profession of faith. The response for us is also, I, I do. Do you reject sin and so to refuse to be mastered by sin? I do. Do you reject the glamour of evil? I do. Do you reject Satan, the father of sin and the prince of darkness? Do you believe in God the Father, the Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth? Do. do you believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? Do. do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has given us all new birth by water in the Holy Spirit and forgiven us our sins. May he keep us faithful to Christ Jesus now and forever. Amen. Extinguish the candles now. Hold them up just a couple seconds. Let the wax settle. Blow out the candles. <laughs> They're taking selfies. Okay. <laughs> Please join with me now in welcoming the newest members of the church.
my brothers and sisters in Christ, you have become a new creation. You have clothed yourselves in Christ. See in these baptismal garments a sign of your new dignity as beloved sons and daughters of God. Receive these baptismal garments, bring them unstained to the judgment seat of our Lord Jesus Christ so that you may have everlasting life. Amen. God, parents, please come forward to bring to the newly baptized the light of Christ. Just the Godparent, one Godparent for each person. One Godparent for each of the baptized. Then give the candles to the newly baptized. Give to the newly baptized the light. My brothers and sisters, you have been enlightened by Christ. Walk always as children of the light and keep the flame of faith alive in your hearts so that when the Lord comes, you may go out to meet him with all of the saints in the heavenly kingdom. Please extinguish your candles and hand them to your godparents. The initiation ritual of baptism is completed by the sacrament of confirmation. We ask God to pour out on these uh, newly baptized the same spirit that was shared with the church at Pentecost. The promised strength of the Holy Spirit, which you will receive, will make you more like Christ and help you to be witnesses to his suffering, death, and resurrection. The spirit will strengthen you to be active members of the church and to build up the body of Christ in faith and in love. My dear friends, let us pray to God our Father that he will pour out the Holy Spirit on these newly baptized to strengthen them with his gifts and anoint them to be more like Christ, the Son of God. All-powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by water and the Holy Spirit, you freed your sons and daughters from sin and gave them new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon them to be their helper and guide. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence. Fill them with the spirit of wonder and awe in your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes. 
our prayer of the faithful, we pray for the newly baptized and for the whole church that God will be with all of us as we try to live as faithful Christians. Al final de cada petición responderemos, Señor, escucha nuestra oración. Para que el Señor resucitado, libre de todo mal a la Iglesia, redimida con su cruz y su resurrección, roguemos al Señor. Señor, escucha nuestra oración. Para que la paz de Cristo se extienda a todas las naciones y todos los hombres participen de ella, roguemos al Señor. Señor, escucha nuestra oración. Por los enfermos, necesitados y oprimidos, para que Cristo abra sus vidas y recobren la salud y la alegría de la resurrección, roguemos al Señor. Señor, escucha nuestra oración. La respuesta será, Señor, hear our prayer. That Christians may recommit themselves to the risen Christ in his work of establishing justice, peace, and love in the church and in the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have received baptism and confirmation may find support in our community for living faithfully the gospel they have accepted, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our deceased relatives, friends, parishioners, and all who have died, that they may enjoy Christ's kingdom of resurrection, life, and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, listen to all of our Easter prayers. Fill us with the gifts of your spirit that flow from your risen Son. Help us to be faithful in living the new life that he shares with all of us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Jesus Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Let's congratulate the new members of the church. And please be seated. Baptism and confirmation are called sacraments of initiation, but also the Eucharist is really the, the sacrament that seals the initiation. For the first time, the newly baptized will be sharing in the Lord's body and blood this Easter sacrament that we're about to celebrate.
and singing. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the love of the whole church. 
Except we ask you, O Lord, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that we bring, so that what has begun in the Paschal Mysteries may, by the working of your power, bring us to the healing of eternity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We offer this thanks to God for all of his gifts to us in the risen Christ, the new life and power of the Spirit he shares with us now, and the promise of life eternal in his kingdom. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim your Lord, but especially on this sacred night to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death and by rising he has restored our life. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. the fount of all holiness, gathered here before you in union with the whole church throughout the world. We celebrate that holy night when Jesus Christ, our Lord, rose from the dead in his human body. Through him whom you have raised to your right hand, we ask you, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be brought together in unity 
by the Holy Spirit. Pues el Señor en su iglesia, encendida por toda la tierra y reunida aquí en la noche santísima de la resurrección de nuestro Señor Jesucristo y con el Papa Francisco y nuestro Obispo Tomás y todos los pastores que cuidan de tu pueblo, lleva a su perfección por la caridad. Remember those baptized from the feast of Easter, born into the new life of water and the Holy Spirit with all their sins forgiven. Today you have made them members of your family. Help them to follow Christ your son with loving hearts, together with all those who have been confirmed today. As you nourish them for the first time at the Eucharistic table of your family, help them to grow always in your friendship, in fellowship with your church. Acuérdate también de nuestros hermanos que se durmieron en la esperanza de la resurrección y de todos los que han muerto en tu misericordia. Admítelos a contemplar la luz de tu rostro. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Baptized into Christ, we are reborn as beloved sons and daughters of the Father, to whom we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be. males y concédenos la paz en nuestros días para que ayudados por tu misericordia vivamos siempre libres de pecado y protegidos de toda perturbación mientras esperamos la gloriosa venida de nuestro Salvador Jesucristo. Señor Jesucristo, que diste a tus apóstoles, la paz les dejo, mi paz les doy. No tengas en cuenta nuestros pecados, sino la fe de tu iglesia. Y conforme a tu palabra, concédele la paz y la unidad. Tú que vives y reinas por los siglos de los siglos. Amen. Jesus Christ is risen. Jesus is May the peace of the risen Christ be always with you. And with your spirit.
Este es el Cordero de Dios que quita el pecado del mundo. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Jesus Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. a peace I've come to know though my heart and flesh may fail there's an anger for my soul I can say it is well Jesus has overcome
tanto esperado este momento Cuánto esperado que estuvieras así Cuánto esperado que me hablaras Cuánto esperado que vinieras a mí Yo sé bien lo que has vivido Yo sé bien por qué has llorado Sé bien lo que has sufrido, pues de tu lado no me he ido, pues nadie te ama como yo, pues nadie te ama como yo. Mira la cruz, esa es mi más grande prueba. Nadie te ama como yo, pues nadie te ama como yo, pues nadie te ama como yo. Mira la cruz, fue por ti, fue porque te amo. Nadie te ama. Aunque a veces no me hables Yo sé bien lo que en ti sientes Aunque nunca lo compartas Yo a tu lado he caminado Junto a ti yo siempre he ido Una vez esté cargado, yo he sido tu mejor amigo, pues nadie te ama como yo, pues nadie te ama como yo. Mira la cruz, esa es mi más grande prueba.
Jesus Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Let us pray. Pour out upon us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those whom you have nourished by this paschal sacrament one in mind and in heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Right after the liturgy, uh, please just stop by the uh, courtyard on the other side of the rotunda. The Knights of Columbus and Columbiettes have prepared some light refreshments for us as we celebrate Easter and the new baptisms we witnessed tonight. That's just right after the Mass, just walk right out into the courtyard. Thanks to so many people who've made Lent and Easter possible. So many special programs in Lent, uh, special music programs noted in particular. Uh, music in Lent is different than music for Holy Week, is different than music for Easter. Thanks to our wonderful music team uh, directed by Juan Salazar. Thanks for them and the choir for all the wonderful music. And Nelly makes wonderful things. Dugard, she makes wonderful things out of the out of all kinds of different right things. There. Our decorations. Nelly is Raise your hand. Sig Nelly. signals. Nelly, thanks for all the decorations. <laughs> and of course, she has a whole team, a whole team that's been working, and literally have to change scenery three times: Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Uh, thanks to all of them for their hard work, and for so many people who worked on that. Now, in particular tonight with the uh, RCIA, thanks to the RCIA team, all the people who are the catechists. Uh, Anna Stanham, of course, who coordinates so many of the programs in English and Spanish. Marcy Arias, Carolyn Southern, Enrique Lichtenstein, Esperanza Morales, Angela uh, Vilches, uh, Daisy Chamorro, Patricia Acevedo, Jorge Acevedo, Nuria Barroso, Fernando Barroso, Astrid Fanati, Ivan Benitez, Lucille Pages, Beatrice Slocum, George Slocum, Sebastian Stanham, and uh, Chad Beatrice, and so many other catechists that are working. Thanks to them for bearing witness to the Lord. And we thank God for all of his blessings to us at Easter, especially for the newly baptized and confirmed in the church. And as we all try to live as disciples of the Lord together, we ask God's blessings and his help. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads to the blessing. May Almighty God bless you through this today's solemn solemnity of Easter. And in his compassion, may he defend you from sin now and forever. Amen. May he who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten Son, may he endow you with the prize of immortality. Amen. Now that the days of the Lord's passion have drawn to a close, may you who celebrate with gladness the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and exulting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended, Alleluia, Alleluia. Thanks be to God, Alleluia.